I had no idea that the boy in the stories, Christopher Robin, was real, was based on A.A. Milne's own son. And after finding that out and understanding how complex and complicated their relationship was, I just thought it was a fascinating story to tell about the origins of Winnie the Pooh and how they came to be and the effect and consequences they had on the family as well as the joy they brought to everyone else. We caught them all at the right time, they're all going stratospheric. Donal, leading man now, Margot is just phenomenal and going from strength to strength. Kelly and we you know, discovered this wonderful little boy who is just a gem and so natural. It's a complicated movie, it's, you know, there's a lot of meaning in there, it's very nuanced. It's complex parenting and father-son relationships, but overall I just, you know, it's the true story behind the books. I'm playing uh, A.A. Milne, who was uh, the real-life author of Winnie the Pooh, amongst many other things, and uh, he was a very complicated man uh, who had been through World War I, came through it, had a very uh, had, had a son with his wife and was dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder and kind of started reconnecting with his son in a beautiful way and from that came Winnie the Pooh. It ended up being the thing which kind of uh, was a salve in a lot of his wounds, you know. I was with her on her first film and since then she was amazing in that and since then obviously she's just gotten better and better. She's an amazing actress, an incredible person and of course you want to work with her. A good actors make you raise your game, so I feel like I'm better when I'm around her. And um, I'm lucky to count her as somebody that I know, because she's also a beautiful person. Will's hard to give advice to. He's such, he's such a clever young man. He's so emotionally available and in touch with himself. And he is a really, uh, he's a great actor, you know. So no, there wasn't a lot of advice, really. There was, there was nothing to give him. He's, he's already great. I've always been drawn to Eeyore. I, I, uh, I like him. Christopher Mill, uh, Christopher Robin, who, uh, Obviously, Chris, the character was based on, said about his father that he took all his sadness from the war, all his trauma, and he poured it into something the world could love, and that's Eeyore, and so Eeyore is my favourite. Well, it's the story of Winnie the Pooh, and where, uh, where the story developed from was um, from this relationship between his man and his son, and uh, it's a very heartwarming, lovely thing. I grew up, yeah, no, I grew up knowing Winnie the Pooh and loving Winnie the Pooh and I had my own toys and um, yeah, it was super prevalent throughout my childhood. Did you have a favourite? Uh, I didn't have a favourite poster. I mean, I really like Winnie the Pooh and I had a Tigger toy as well, so I like Tigger a lot as well. He's amazing. I mean, he was nine years old when we were shooting, but you'd think he'd been doing it his, you know, for, for a decade already. But he was, he's such an amazing actor and just a really great kid. And yeah, it was really nice to work with him. I didn't need to give him any advice. He was, he was a very, very capable actor without any advice from me. So no. <laughs> I just really respect him as an actor. I really think he's one of the greatest actors of our generation. I want to keep working with him forever and um, I've loved our working experiences so far. I just want to, yeah, I want to keep working with him. I've played slightly unlikable characters before and there's, you know, particularly flawed characters are most interesting to kind of tackle as an actor, so. He was very, he's come from a very happy family and is a very happy boy. But he also could play the sadness very well too, because he's such a good actor. Well, my kids are growing up and it is a sort of love letter to family, the film. It tells you the importance of taking care of your kids when they're around, because they're not going to be around forever. Well, I think they were attracted by the story and the power of the script. And, you know, Donal and Margot and Kelly are three of the best young actors around. So I was incredibly lucky to get them all. Nerve wracking, but the excitement overtakes it all the time, so um, it's really fun though. It's, it's nothing like you would expect though. You would think it was all like we're doing this at this moment, but you're just having a load of fun really in the end. <laughs> oh, tons of fun really. I think, I think it most fun was um, Coldstream Guards in that film uh, where they all played for us. And it's so weird how it, um, they got the ones from Buckingham Palace. And uh, yes, that was the most fun bit. He's so wacky, but also just so funny at the same time. And um, his 
brain is just amazing and uh, he's telling me funny stories and uh, just things I would never forget really and it's the best cast to work with.